Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna show you my very detailed makeup routine. So first you're gonna do is hydrate your face. I got this from Fashion Nova. It's just a rose water hydration and it works very well for me. So next I'm, I'm gonna do is go in with primer. This is my first time using an e.l.f. primer. I just seen it very popular everywhere and it actually works very well. So you're gonna make sure you pat it into your face. Do not rub in circular motions, just pat it into your face. You're gonna wait until it's completely dry. You gotta touch it, touch your face, double check before to make sure that your face is completely dry. So right here, I'm gonna double check, make sure my face is dry, and I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go in with this $3 eyebrow pencil I brought from Amazon, and I did a brown color. You don't wanna do black if you don't want your eyes, eyebrows, my apologies, super dark. I would prefer my eyebrows to be a natural color, so I go in with the dark brown, versus if I did a black, it would make it super dark, and I don't want that type of eyebrow look. I want a more natural look so yeah the key to eyebrows is light strokes so next I'm gonna go in with my concealer and this is actually for my eyebrows I put a little bit on my hand and I just try to get a flat brush to outline the bottom with a light concealer it's just something that I saw someone else do on TikTok and advised me to do so I just try to go over that line to just enhance the outline enough and just kind of cover my whole eyelid at the same same time you really have to make sure you have a steady hand on this part so next um, that's my foundation I'm gonna go in with I got this foundation from Walmart it's the very affordable brand about five six dollars a foundation the fit brand my cousin actually recommended me this brand and it works very well if you need an alternate affordable foundation so I'm gonna go in with a very skinny makeup brush and I'm going to just outline the top so I did the bottom with concealer and I'm gonna outline the top with foundation and I just try to go very slow this video is beginner friendly of course so I'm not a professional I'm just doing what I know and what works for me so this is my e.l.f. Halo Glow. I love it. I just started using it. I saw it in a few places. So this is, it can be used as a foundation, but in this case, it's not a foundation. It's an underglow. So I just do it very lightly and pat it into my skin before I apply my foundation. So when you apply the Halo Glow, you want to make sure that you pat with your brush. Do not rub. Do not go in so circular motions where you're rubbing it too hard you want to make sure you're patting very lightly patting all of the makeup into your skin I make sure I cover my eyes just everywhere that my skin is showing on my face so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation the normal way I usually use my finger to apply it sometimes I've heard that it's easy to actually blend it with your finger as well because of the warmth of your finger but I don't want to get my fingers dirty anymore y'all so I just use a brush and I actually love these brushes I got from Amazon. They're very great quality brushes, but still very, very affordable. And they come with a lot of them in the pack. So of course, again, I'm gonna make sure with my foundation, I'm patting all of my skin up until under my eye. As you can see, I'm trying to get my nose and everything as well. You wanna make sure your full face is covered. The same way, it's almost like painting. The same way you would kind of paint you just want to make sure your whole face is covered. So you are going to continue making sure your face is covered until you are satisfied. Another tip is make sure when you're applying your makeup, you're doing it in a natural light. A ring light is great as well. I would prefer an open blind with a window with great lighting. That way you can see how your makeup is going to look to others in a natural light. So now I'm going to apply some setting spray on top of my brush and that way it kind of loosens up that concealer to be able to spread you can add setting spray on your brushes throughout doing your whole entire makeup anytime you need to loosen the product a little add a little setting spray and it'll help spread more or even blend that product in a little better so of course i'm going for a brighter under eye with this look so but not too bright so i didn't want to overdo the foundation 
and I didn't want to overdo the concealer. I did just enough to give me that semi bright look, but still have a natural face. So I'm going to conceal my eyebrows with this um, setting powder. I'm going to set my eyebrows. And this is something my god sister showed me and I love it. It adds a more natural look to your eyebrows and a more matte look. That way your eyebrows are actually set in place and it doesn't look like you just drew them on. So I'm going to add a little bit of setting powder under my eye. Of course, like I said, I don't want to go for too bright of a look. If you would like a super bright look under your eyes, you would apply way more setting powder and you probably would lower it. But in my case, I don't want that much. So I'm just going to apply it right under my eye. And that's what these black pads are for to make sure you can get a great angle. So after that, I'm just going to blend that in, blend that setting spray in. Remember everything with makeup, you always want to pat. Do not rub, don't get impatient, make sure you pat. So now I'm going to go in with my contour. And I actually use the same, not the same exact one, but the same type of brush that I use for my setting powder because it's an angle at the end. So this is a triangle and I want to make sure you're getting your cheekbone going up and down the angle of your cheekbone. In this look, I'm not going for too much of a dark contour look, so I do keep it very lightly. This shade of contour is very dark and it spreads. So you don't have to overdo the product. Anytime you're doing your makeup, a little goes a long way. Always remember that. You don't have to waste product overdoing it and overdoing your makeup look. You wanna keep it simple, keep it neutral, but still a makeup look and in this case that's what i'm doing i'm going to go in now and blend out that contour as you can see i didn't do too much but it kind of brought a darker look on my cheekbone in the angles of my cheekbone you want to go up and down the angle of your cheekbone patting your cheek so here i'm going to go in my blush I have about five different shades of blush, but I like to go in with the traditional pink reddish color. And this is actually a brush that is made for blush. So it has a bigger spread, but it's still soft enough. So your blush is going to be applied to your cheeks, right on your cheekbone. So now I'm going to do a simple eyeshadow look. I literally just like to go for a neutral glitter color, but not like super glitterified, but just a neutral brown glitter that's my go-to. I just apply it on my eyelids. Um, eventually, I'll get into the details on eyelids, but I'm not an expert right now. So I just apply that. Like I said, you want to make sure you're patting your eye through as much as possible. That way, all of that makeup is blended in. Make sure you pat, pat, pat. So now we're going to do my favorite part which is the lip color. So I'm gonna go in with a dark, dark, dark brown lip liner and line the bottom. And I'm gonna line my top as well. I don't wanna do it too thick, but I do wanna make sure that it's visible when I blend the rest of my lip look together. So now I'm gonna add this concealer in the middle. I start with the bottom and then I take a brush. This brush is made for blending lipstick and lip colors. I take a brush and pat in the concealer with the lip liner this is one of my favorite looks i saw on tiktok actually it's such a cute look so i realized that i didn't have enough concealer at the bottom so i'm gonna have to add a few more drops of concealer at the top as well so once you do that make sure you blend it in as well So when you mock your lips together, don't rub them together. You have to mock them. If you've ever seen it before, it's simply what I just did. So rubbing them in together is going to mess up that work that you just created. So you make sure you mock them. So now I'm going to go on with my setting spray. I just bought this setting spray from Amazon, y'all, and I love, love, love it. It definitely does what it has to do. And it, this spray is very highly recommended. It's a Milani Dewy spray, and I got it from Amazon for a very affordable price under $10 and it's very good quality. I never switched up my setting spray so I didn't realize how much of a difference a good setting spray can truly make. 
So now I'm gonna make sure it's dry, just kind of fan dry with my hand. It dries fast, but I just want to make sure that extra security. So now I'm gonna apply some eyelashes. This is the last thing I have to do for this great make makeup look. So for this makeup look, I'm gonna attach both eyelashes. The eyelashes are shorter than I usually would prefer, but these eyelashes still look very great with this makeup look. So now both eyelashes are on. I'm just cleaning out my eye, make sure I have any extra glue or anything on my makeup. So yeah, that's the final look, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I did go in with some NYX lip gloss because I love me a good NYX lip gloss. So I'm just going to attach that on my lips and now my look is officially done. I hope you enjoy this very simple but detailed makeup look there will be more to come make sure you like comment and subscribe and let me know how this makeup look came out or if you have any other tips on makeup